So Sora wakes up from his fever dream where he fought Darkseid to the most beautiful island of all time. I mean, look at this place. It looks freaking amazing. Mwah! Chef's kiss. Anyway, Sora lives on the island paradise with his two best of friendos, Kairi and Riku. And for some inexplicable reason, they want to leave. Seriously, what the hell is wrong with these kids? Regardless, they plan on leaving by building a raft and sailing out into the ocean. Have you guys never seen Castaway? Not a great plan. So Kyrie sends Sora out to gather materials for the raft, like a log, a rope, some cloth. You know, regular ass fetch quest crap that's in every single RPG ever made. In the meantime, you can also go and beat up your favorite pupubescent uh, Final Fantasy X characters like Titus and Waka. Hey, what's happening, man? And, you know, that one useless girl from Final Fantasy VIII who nobody played as. Yikes. Later that day, Rick reveals that he wants to leave because he's bored. And it is also revealed that Kairi is from another world, which inspires Riku. Sora! You wanted one, didn't you? A palpu fruit? If two people share one, their destinies become intertwined. They'll remain a part of each other's lives, no matter what. Come on, I know you want to try it. What are you talking? <laughs> Meanwhile, we flash over to Donald freaking Duck, of all people, as he enters the biggest throne room ever built for a rat, when he notices that Mikhail Moose is gone and left a Dear John letter for his wife. <laughs> what an asshole. I knew it, I'm surrounded by assholes. Keep firing, assholes! Back on the island, Kyrie forces Sora to do more fetch quests, this time for food. Let's see, we need a couple of fish, some water, coconuts, maybe an egg. And, what, is that it? You're going on a raft in the middle of the ocean and that's all you're packing to eat? I'm going to die! Then, out of freaking nowhere, Riku and Sora just decide to have a foot race, because why the hell not? If I win, uh, I'm captain. And if you win... I get to share the palpu with Kyrie. Huh? Deal? The winner gets to share a palpu with Kyrie. Oh, wait a minute. Ooh, Riku likes Kyrie. Anyway, uh, Riku smokes Sora's ass and he gives him the. Look at me, sure. Look at me, sure. I'm the captain now. Anyway, while searching for supplies in a spooky dank cave, Sora graffitis the wall but is interrupted by this hooded weirdo who's just, like, standing there. Well, who's there? I've come to see the door to this world. Huh? This world has been connected. Well, what are you talking about? Tied to the darkness. Soon to be completely eclipsed. Well, whoever you are, stop freaking me out like this. Huh? Well, where did you come from? You do not yet know what lies beyond the door. So you're from another world. There is so very much to learn. You understand so little. Oh yeah? Well you'll see. I'm gonna get out and learn what's out there. A meaningless effort. One who knows nothing can understand nothing. Oh, 
Well, that's f***ing ominous. Yeah, uh, that wasn't freaky at all. Um, let's, let, let's go, just go back to the island vibes. After Sora finishes gathering all the supplies, he goes and talks to Kairi in the most gorgeous backdrop I have ever seen. Oh my goodness. You know, Riku has changed. What do you mean? Well... Hmm. You okay? Sora, let's take the raft and go. Just the two of us. Huh? <laughs> Just kidding. What's gotten into you? You're the one that's changed, Kairi. Maybe. You know, I was a little afraid at first. But now I'm ready. No matter where I go or what I see, I know I can always come back here. Right? Yeah, of course. That's good. Sora, don't ever change. Huh? I just can't wait. Once we set sail, it'll be great. Anyway, back to Donald Duck shenanigans. Uh, he reads Mikhail's letter and it basically says that he's gone gallivanting across the galaxy and that him and Goofy should find a quote-unquote key. They are also joined by the bug from Pinocchio whose world got blown up or something. I don't know, I haven't seen the movie. We hope for your safe return. Please help the king. In order to find the key, Donald and the Goofy need to travel the cosmos in a rocket ship that was built by Chip and Dale. Later that night, Sora wakes up to the freaking apocalypse happening outside his window, but uh, somehow he manages to find Riku in all this nonsense, who is tripping balls. Cocaine. I thought she was with you. The door is open. What? The door is open, Sora. Now we can go to the outside world. What are you talking about? We gotta find Kyrie. Kyrie's coming with us. Once we step through, we might not be able to come back. We may never see our parents again. There's no turning back. But this may be our only chance. We can't let fear stop us. I'm not afraid of the darkness. Riku. Then Sora tries to find Kyrie in the spooky dank cave, but Kyrie dies or something. I'm, not, I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what the hell is happening here. Then all of a sudden, Sora gets blasted out of the freaking cave and is attacked by the big bastard from the beginning of the game as his island is being torn apart in the background. Think of a big black man chasing you! <laughs> well, he's not racist. Eventually, both Sora, Darkseid, and the island are all sucked into the big ball of death, and thus ends Sora's island adventures. <laughs>